What's up guys, this is Coach Ray and today I'm going to show you how to not break your arm while arm wrestling. Arm wrestling have bad reputation because people who don't know how to arm wrestle break their arms. And um, the, I have met so many guys that have been arm wrestling in bars and, and different places and they've broken their arms. But um, in pro competitions I have been to four world championships and I have seen two broken arms from thousands and thousands of the fights. So today I'm going to explain why the arms break and why it's so important to have technique and to have rules. We have all met guys who have their own set of rules for arm wrestling. So they will say things like don't use your body, um, keep one hand behind your head or, or behind your back or any other thing. Arm wrestling table was made for safety. So everyone would have same rules, everyone would have same chances of winning and there would be less injury. In arm wrestling we use our whole body. I will explain this really simple. So when we want to win we need to pin our opponent's arm on a pad like this. So when we look like this, when we're just using the hand, I can win my match. The problems occur when I'm starting to lose. So my arm is in locked bone position like this and there is no way for it to go. So if somebody wants to pin my arm, they have to break my arm. This is why we use the body. If we're winning, we're winning with our whole body. If we're losing, we're losing with our whole body. Mostly arm breaks occur for beginners, novice, and, and everyone who never done this before because the first thing that comes in their mind is just to push the arm on a pad like this. Arm wrestling is not pushing, arm wrestling is pulling. So. Whichever style you prefer, however you do this, always pull your arm towards you. It doesn't matter if it's top roll or going outside or hook or going inside. To not to break your arm, first rule is use your body. So whenever you're losing, you're losing with your body. Whenever you're winning, you're winning with your body. For second thing, I will need help from my fellow Armstrong trainer, Reins Rudzic. So let's get to it. Let's say we both are beginner arm wrestlers. Our first instinct is just to push the arm on a pad. The problems start occurring when we're both doing the same thing. So we don't know that we have to pull opponent, we'll start pushing like this. So we get in a position where we're both basically in the same strength and he really wants to win. So he will start to rotate his shoulder inwards like this, leaving his arm behind. This is called broken arm position because there's rotation right here on the bone on your upper arm. Your forearm are in locked position. So basically your tendons are pulling on your bone. And if your bone is not used to the position, injury can happen. So how to not to get your arm broken in arm wrestling match? All you need to do is lose with your body and win with your body. So you're always staying like this, you're looking at your arm, you're not turning away, you're not just uh, doing something without looking, you need to control everything. So if you want to control your arm, you're looking at your arm like this. Second thing is always pull, try to pull. If you're going in hook, that means inside, pull the arm closer to you. If you're going outside or top row, pull the arm closer to you. There are advanced techniques that's called side press where you really press it, but, but it's not still the same as novice arm wrestlers are doing because they're just, um, they're really not understanding the biomechanics of arm wrestling. They just want to push and they leave their shoulder behind. So there's rotation in the arm and it looks like this. Problems start occurring when I really, really want to win. So I will be in this position and I will just push with my body in front of me. So all the rotation in my bone and the break can happen. Last thing, always stay as close as you can to your arm. So sometimes the guys will do things like this. So I will hold him and he will go outside and just open up his arm like this. And again, his shoulder is moving that way. And if I'm pushing him on the other direction, there can be a break here. So always try to stay a little bit closer or as close as you can. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you will not break your arms. Thanks, Reigns, for the help.